My dog is just like, you got all this good stuff up there. What are you, what are you doing with it all? I want some of it. Well, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Over this past weekend, I was in Ohio for my cousin's wedding, and there's this place we always go to. My mom, my sister, they all love it, and so we always end up going there. It's called Wood Market, and basically, what you can see off the name is they've got a lot of stuff from around the world. And so while I was there, I saw a bunch of interesting candy and different types of food, and I thought, you know, what would be really good is to get all this stuff and eat it all for you, because last time I ate stuff, you guys really seemed to enjoy it, you guys really seemed to like it. I thought, let's just do it again, but with stuff from around the world. Before I begin though, you have to excuse me if I look like I'm like all hot and bothered, because I am. It's like 100 degrees in my house right now and I don't have my fan running because I want to have good audio for you guys. So I have it turned off. So you'll have to excuse me for that if I look like I'm like dying during the video. I do have some water here though, so I'm hydrated, I'm good. No one's gonna die today, hopefully. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig down this bag here, pull something out, and we're gonna get going with it. But before I start again, I was smart, like last time I wasn't. I've got a trash can with me this time because I have a feeling I might, uh, <laughs> I might be throwing some stuff up. Not throwing it up, but spitting it out definitely because some stuff in here scares me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little frightened of some things. So without further ado, let's just dig in the bag. All right, so I'm gonna start with something that doesn't frighten me that much. I mean, it's a little bit frightening, uh, but it's from America, I, I believe. Uh, but it's maple bacon chips. I'm not a big fan of bacon flavored things. I know, I know, un-American, uh, but I'm not a big fan of it. Also, I don't put maple syrup on my bacon. I don't get why people do that. I don't like it, it's not my thing. So I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but it's just not what I like. But I'm gonna try these and uh, we're gonna hope for the best here. There we go, got it, oh no. Okay, so right now they smell like barbecue chips, which really scares me because these are not supposed to be barbecue chips. All right, let's uh, get us a nice little folded one here. It smells just like barbecue. <laughs> These do not smell like maple or bacon. Well, I guess the bacon would be barbecue, but it smells just like barbecue. Whoa, okay. Well, there was a little, <laughs> there's a little instant there. Um, they taste like barbecue chips. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with them. They taste just like barbecue chips. However, there was a little moment where I got a little bit of the maple and that kind of threw me off for a second. But other than that, it was just barbecue. They're not bad. Moving on, let's keep it the chip theme. Guinness chips. <laughs> These ones do scare me. I love Guinness, don't get me wrong. Really like Guinness, but in a chip form, I don't know how I feel about that. So uh, let's just <laughs> dive on in here. Oh my, whoa, no, 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 no. Guys, this smells just like Guinness. Like, it's like someone, I walked into a pub, they poured me a pint, I sat down to drink it. You know, it, it tastes, it smells, mmm, it smells just like Guinness. I love Guinness, but I don't know how I feel about it being in a chip. All right, ooh, they're like, I don't know if you guys can see them. They're, they're dark. I mean, I wouldn't expect any other, Oh no, I don't want to do this one. <coughs> oh, we're back. My dog's freaking out because I kind of just gagged a little bit. I don't know if y'all know this about me or not, but I have kind of a really bad gag reflex. If something hits my palate that I don't enjoy, um, sometimes I gag a lot. And for some reason, as much as I like Guinness, they're not supposed to be chips. So that was not, not, not good, no. Next, let's hopefully bring this back a little bit. Back something good. I got these marked down in price so they might not be delicious. Uh, but they are jelly bananas. Looters, looters, jelly bananas. Chocolate covered gummy candy. Not sure how these are gonna be. I like chocolate, I like banana. So let's hope for the best here. Guys, it is hot. I am sweating. All right, it smells like chocolate and banana. This surely can't be bad. What kind of scares me about these are the gummy aspect of it. So, uh, what's this? 
Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's just really not good chocolate gummy. Uh, there's a little bit of banana in there, but not a lot. I mean, it's definitely better than the Guinness chips. So, uh, for that, uh, whatever on those. Let's stay with the chocolate. Um, we've got some Australian candy honeycomb. I have heard about these before. Uh, it's probably a different thing than this, but I'm sure it's along the same lines. But I've heard these are really good, and I'm kind of hoping that these are really good. So let's, uh, mmm, guys. Those smell so good. Those smell like, they, they smell like Butterfingers, and I love Butterfingers. Butterfingers are one of my favorite candies. Oh man, I'm gonna like this. Let's hope I like this. Oh, it's hard. It's, mm, it's definitely not bad. It's got this weird chalky substance in the middle, but like, I mean, it's just like chocolate and there's like a little bit of a honey flavor to it. It's that, oh, they're gluten free. Hey, Cassie, you can eat these. My friend Cassie has a gluten intolerance. She's celiac disease, that's what it's called. I don't know. Anyway, hey, I got you, fam. <laughs> but yeah, these aren't bad. I like these. I'm probably gonna eat this whole bag. So yeah, thumbs up. Next, we've got some Smarties. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ryan, we have Smarties in America. It's just one, 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 one. No, these are different Smarties. These are Smarties from another country. These aren't the little chalky things that you eat when you're a kid and be like, oh, look at me, I'm so smart. No, pretty sure these are like Canadian. Um, and they're like little chocolate candies, I think. I don't know. They just look like that, if you can see them. There's little round colored chocolate candies. So let's see what they taste like. It's literally like an M&M. That's literally what this is. It's an M&M. These are knockoffs of M&M. Nothing special there. They're good. They're good. They're good. Uh, let's get into something that I'm a little scared of again. Um, so these are some cat, cat G's, cat G's, cat, cat G's, cat G's, cats in perfection. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's German. Um, everything on this bag is in German, except for this right here, which tells me it is just soft licorice candy. Okay. Um, I like licorice. I don't know what this says up here, but it's pointing this corner and I'm assuming it means tear here. Oh, would you look at that? It tore. It smells like licorice, you know? Um, it's hard, no it's not, it's soft. Is it? It's hard or is it soft? I don't know, let's eat it. It's licorice. If you like black licorice, you'll like this. I've got some more cat G's. Salzgi Harangi. I don't know. They're a little fish shaped. But what scares me about this is they're black licorice, but they're salty black licorice. I've had salty black licorice before that wasn't that awful, but sometimes I know it can be really bad. So, let's see. Oh, look at you little fishy. Into my mouth. Hmm. You know? Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna spit it out. I'm not gonna spit it out. I'm sorry with that. I swallowed it. It wasn't as salty as I thought it was until the end. It had a very strong kick at the end. But uh, other than that, I like those. I'm probably gonna eat that bag. Now we've got our last licorice. This is like the double salty. Yeah, licorice double salt. So this is gonna be even stronger than that last one. Uh, this is made by a different company. Again, got this half off. Parking shopper. Uh, so yeah, I can't read any of the ingredients on the back. Um, it's all in German. So let's just go for it and let's see here what this tastes like. Almost dropped it, but I caught it. Ooh, this one's hard. All right. Oh God, oh my gosh. Almost a meat, oh, it's like a. That was so salty. Oh, that one I will not be eating. As soon as I put it in my mouth, it like stung with the salt. That was intense. <laughs> no, thank you. Don't want that anymore. No. All right, we got a few more things left in here. A few of them still scare me, but let's keep let's keep traversing on. Um, we're gonna take it across the seas now, from Germany into Asia. And if we all know Asian cuisine, 
it can be interesting sometimes. I'm not trying to be offensive to anyone. I love Asian cuisine. I love sushi. Um, I love general sauce, chicken, whatever. That's probably not real Asian food, but anything. I like it. Y'all's good people. But sometimes it's scary. Like this. Crispy seaweed snack. I'm assuming it's shrimp flavor because there are little shrimps right here. And I can't read the rest of it. So... We're gonna, oh look, there's a cute little thing on the back. We select high quality seaweed. And there's little happy men on the back collecting the seaweed. And then they process it. And then it becomes not good for you anymore. Let's eat it. I don't want it. Guys, why? Why? Why is this good? Okay, I mean, I understand I eat seaweed and sushi. But, you know, I don't really taste it. I tasted the fish and the wasabi and the soy sauce I put on it. I don't, I don't want, I don't want it, guys. <laughs> I'm like a two-year-old again. I don't want to eat my vegetables. Um, oh, it smells fishy. It's got such a shrimp smell to it. That just made me sad. <laughs> it legit, like, okay. You know what it tasted like? It tasted like fish food smells. <laughs> like, you know the little flakes of fish food you get you can feed your fish? That's what it tasted like. How that smells is what that tasted like. Not, not good, okay? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be offensive to anyone who likes that, but it's just not for me. Not, not my thing. Two thumbs down on that one. Keeping it in the Asian family and with the weird shrimp flavored things, we've got shrimp chips. I mean, they say people have enjoyed it for 50 years, but me and probably gonna enjoy it today. Again, it smells like fish food. Like what that tasted like, this is what this smells like. It smells just like that processed fish food you get to feed to your goldfish. I don't wanna put this in my mouth. I don't, I don't want this, okay? Guys, I do this for you, okay? I do it for the views. Just kidding, I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Cheers. Praise! Oh, it's not bad. Okay, it smells way worse than it tastes. There actually isn't much of a taste to it at all. Um, there's a little bit of a fishy taste to it, but honestly, ooh, no. Oh, hold on, there's an aftertaste. <coughs> oh, yeah, the aftertaste is what it smells like. Uh, I was gonna eat a second one, but you know, aftertaste got me. I mean, they're not awful, they're not good, I'm not gonna eat them. Uh, so, uh, no. We're down to our last three things. And the last few things are things I know people enjoy, but I've never tried and they scare me a little bit. And those last three things are mochis. I've got green tea mochi. I'm not that afraid of it. Um, I've got Japanese taro mochi. And then the one I really am afraid of is the red bean mochi. I don't like beans. It's a texture thing. Maybe this is gonna be different with the, just the flavor of it. All I know is that these are supposed to be squishy. I've never had mochi before. But let's try it and see where we get with it. I'm gonna start with the one I'm least afraid of and I'm gonna start with the green tea mochi. Let's get in here. Ooh, it's nice packaging. Only thing I know about mochi is I watched Rhett and Link one day eat a bunch of mochi. They did like the chubby bunny challenge with mochis and they were just squishy. I don't really know a lot about mochi, but I, but I saw him in the store and I thought, you know, let's try him. Um, one just fell on the floor. I'm gonna pick it up off the floor and that's gonna be the one I eat. Don't judge me. All right, yeah, it is really squishy. I mean, I don't smell anything yet. <clears throat> it's got like this powdered sugar on it. I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't know. Let's get into it. All right, um, my timer went off. I had to fix the camera real quick because I can only record for like 10 minutes at a time. Um, but. The green tea mochi, not bad. Not something I really am gonna enjoy. Uh, not my thing. Yeah. But now we gotta try the other two. 
We're gonna go to the Taro Mochi. I'm not quite sure what Taro is. I think it's another kind of tea. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Let's not drop this one on the floor. This one still smells the same as the last one. Oh, they're in little neat, cute little packages. It's so squishy. I don't know what this powder is. I'm assuming it's sugar. I could be wrong. It could be cocaine. It's not, but <laughs> let's get into this. I just want purple. like it at the same time I think I like this one better than the green tea um it's a little sweeter I like the purple color of it purple is my favorite color <laughs> Gay! not really sure if I'm gonna eat these um they're just I don't know it's a texture thing I'm a weird I'm a really weird texture person um and that's just I, it's not the greatest it's not the greatest thing in the world and now for the grand finale we've got the red bean mochi I know I'm not gonna like it, but I'm gonna eat it. Why do I do this again? Oh yeah, I do this because I'm almost at 100 subscribers. Please, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below if you're watching this. I really do appreciate all the likes and subscribes, guys. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to be some kind of famous YouTuber. I really do appreciate it. I do this for you guys. Um, and I know 100 isn't a big number, but for me, it is. So, again, if you've not subscribed, please do so down below as I prepare to eat this red bean mochi for you. All right, this one's white on the outside and it's got that same squishy texture and white powder. This one, oh no, no, no. That smell is not, I was gonna say it smelled okay, but then I stuck my nose in the actual packet. Oh, I'm afraid of this one. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down because I'm afraid <laughs> I'm gonna need that trash can. All right. Here goes. I'll be honest with y'all. No, didn't like it. Had to spit it out. But you know what's worse than spitting that out? My trash can right now. It smells like a <laughs> smells like a fish market in here because of those seaweed chips. Those things were the devil get a whip of this just kidding don't all right guys well i've got white powder all over me uh that's the end of my video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please hit a like button down below uh remember like i said earlier please subscribe if you're new to this channel if you haven't done so already i really do appreciate all the subscribes and the likes and the comments down below guys it really does mean a lot to me also while you're at it please go ahead and share this video with your friends let them know what's going on here in this channel the more you share it the more we're going to get out there and the more and more people are going to see these videos um, and I would really, really appreciate that if you guys were to share and let all your friends know about this channel. All right, guys. Well, as always, until next time, take it easy.